Hi Gemini, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Light Seers Tarot and the Healing Energy Oracle Cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God Most High Angel Spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit, what is the divine guidance <clears throat> and encouragement for Gemini that's for their well-being and the highest form of love and light? Speak your truth, Gemini. Speak your truth in the situation in love. Speak your truth in love. Okay? Gemini, you have the five of swords. So, someone may be doing something deceitful behind your back and just causing you a headache. So, <laughs> you have to determine what course of action you want to take with the person. Like, do you want to have a discussion with them? Do you want to try to set boundaries with them? Do you want to dissolve the relationship? Is it worth it for you to keep engaging with this connection? It's completely up to you, but you're definitely dealing with someone who is not someone who's honorable, all right? So you have to decide, do you want to continue with this energy in your life do you want to continue with this connection do you want to continue with this soul do you want to continue is it worth it they're causing you a headache is it worth it is that what you want to do you have to decide but they're definitely being dishonorable and I'm gonna get the crow card for you to see how that is associated with your message look there's blood isn't that terrible that they would go to such extreme to hurt you like they may not be hurting you physically to that degree but emotionally to that degree where it's so severe blood is present it's severe so do you want to continue this connection? Is it, is it coming to the point where it is coming to an end because it has served its purpose? If that is the case, then you have to find it within yourself to release and let go. All right? Five is the number of change and transformation because it's the five of swords. Okay. With the crow, the key word is transition. The message is, which part of your life is or may be going through a transition? Maybe you are changing relationships, careers, or cities. Whatever it is, the crow is signal signaling that you are ready to make the change. You're ready for it. Some relationship come come to an end. Sometimes you think you know someone and you really don't know them until God Most High shines the light on them. Till the light is shined, has been shined on them. Am I saying that right? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> until the light is shined on, until the light shines on them. then you really truly know them it's not until then all right but you're ready for this change you're ready for it even if you don't feel like you're ready for it you're ready for it and you have the page of pentacles which reflects um increase in your finances so perhaps you're waiting for a response for a loan of some sort or repayment from someone. It's tax season. Maybe you're waiting for your taxes. Could be. Nevertheless, there is good financial news coming in for you. The page always brings in news. Right? And so... This is good. This is positive. So, yeah. As it relates to your healing energy oracle card, 
I was looking at the symbol and that's why I was pausing I'm trying to see what that symbol is but it really I really can't tell but it's beautiful and maybe some of you are considering using situals that's what I'm getting um, or looking into different types of yeah different types of sigils yeah that's what I'm getting if that's the case do your research and then proceed as you're being guided sigils are very powerful and um, very useful very beneficial in fact there's a sigil on my altar but you can see it but you can't see it because sigils are very powerful so if that resonates with you this is confirmation for you like even look at this pentacle like this pentacle is a not the standard looking pentacle like it has a lot of color and there are symbols inside the pentacle as well right so if you're interested in sigils or learning about sigils or feeling drawn to sigils do your research and then proceed all right but there are some very powerful sigils that you can use to connect with and with the financial um, increase I feel like it'll be in abundance And you do need to balance your finances, right? No overspending, not unnecessarily, no unnecessary spending or um, what is it called? Mm, like shopping just for gratification. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, don't just start shopping just to be shopping just to spend your money to gratify yourself use wisdom right there's nothing wrong with treating yourself but you have to use wisdom so that you can have a balance in your finances for now and for the future you don't want to just allow your finances to be wasted away you have to use wisdom be a good steward be a good steward of your finances okay look at her she's just embracing the pentacle and balancing everything out and I feel like that's what you're being encouraged to do as well all right as it relates to your healing energy oracle card that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light let's see what you have you have attention the message is I am attentive to all that manifests within me when negativity arises within me I transform it into light love and hope my love for others is unconditional I forgive my desire to improve is constant I am firm brave and hardworking so that's beautiful so this is the healing energy of attention that's beautiful look at that energy I hope you can feel the power that it radiates it's absolutely beautiful Gemini so this is your message. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Like, comment, share, turn on your notification. If you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment. Just drop me a heart emoji to let me know that this message touched your heart in some way. All right. And that it resonated with you. And... If you stay to the end, leave me a smiley face emoji to let me know you did. All right. 
don't forget to check out our community page because I do post on our community page. All right, so check it out. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Peace and blessings to you, Gemini. Bye.